John Mashey and this is our COVID-19 response video. Uh, we wanted to take some time and really assess the situation and, and get an idea of kind of where things are going and really just plan accordingly. Um, what we want to do with this video is just kind of inform you on some of our plans for 2020, some of the changes that are the result of uh, the virus and just kind of what we're hoping to do uh, for this year. So first and foremost, uh, safety is first. We want to make sure that whatever we do, it follows CDC guidelines. We essentially don't put anybody at risk, but at the same time, we recognize that our programs, especially our food or produce uh, distribution program, having the ability to grow food for people in need is going to be incredibly uh, high demand this year. Uh, in addition to that, the flowers is something that I really considered uh, spent a lot of time with, with uh, other team members and our board of directors really assessing like is there significant value in these different programs and we all decided that absolutely when it comes down to having the ability to provide folks uh, bouquets of flowers especially at times like these where there's just a lot of anxiety a lot of stress uh, a lot of mental illness we want to say to people that they're loved we want to have the ability to, to show people beauty and give that gift to folks that are in need. Uh, additionally, our medicinal herb program is something that we're really trying to ramp up this year, specifically um, focused on immune building herbs, things like echinacea, we've got large plantings, elderberries, uh, things that could be used in that capacity. Uh, the question is how are we gonna get it done? In the past, we would have large groups of people coming out, the ROTC, the United Way Day of Caring, we're talking groups of 50, 60, up to 80 people at a time. Uh, obviously that cannot happen this year. What we're considering is sectioning off um, portions of our farm and creating quadrants. Uh, each quadrant will be limited to 10 people and that will obviously adjust if the CDC guidelines adjust. Um, however, we would like to continue to put the crops in, continue to make it available for people to come here and to volunteer and help us actually harvest the crops we have to make sure that that's done safely. And so right now, the emphasis is trying to create those systems, trying to use technology to, to have you know, the ability for people to schedule for blocks of time. We will be putting that information out as soon as we make it available. Um, just to let you know uh, ahead of time, you know, our, our mentality right now is that as the Veterans Healing Farm, you know, for, for folks that join the military and serve their country in the military, um, we want to say to those veterans, you know, now's an opportunity for you to come and serve your local community. Help us make this food available to other local veterans and to other civilians at, at distribution sites and impact our community. We can only do what we can do. However, we do believe we're in a very unique position to help a lot of people. And in addition to the actual produce donations and the physical donations, we really want to increase our workshops this year from a virtual standpoint. And so what I'm holding right now is our 360 camera. Um, this is something we're very excited about. We're gonna be hopefully launching our 360 workshop program this year. And also our uh, normal videos, making uh, additional workshops, teaching folks things like horticulture, some of the small scale garden. Uh, I, I do believe a lot of folks are you know, interested in, in, in learning those. And then in addition to that, we're going to be continuing to host other workshops um, as the summer progresses and we'll be announcing what those workshops are uh, as the summer progresses and so again this video was my attempt to, to just let everybody know that we are moving forward um, similar to the challenges that arose two years ago when we had catastrophic flash flooding events you know the idea is that we will get through this this is something in which um, is going to be very difficult for our nation across the board uh, many of people are struggling, many of people are anxious and aren't sure kind of what's coming down the pipeline, but, but here's the reality is it will be okay. We will overcome these challenges. We take it one day at a time. We keep our eyes open, our head on a swivel. We make sure to stay focused, but we lean in on each other. When it's starting to get more and more difficult and intimidating and overwhelming, we look to our community, we look to each other, like Forrest Gump and Bubba, you know, we, we lean on each other and that way we don't sleep with our face in the mud. And so we will get through this. Um, some of the protocols, we're gonna be providing, you know, um, bandanas and gloves 
and in in create um, you know areas for the tools that are being used to be sterilized so when it comes down to all the specifics um, just stay tuned because we will be announcing what those look like here shortly but in the meantime just recognize that um, all we can do is what we can do and the only thing that can be expected of us is that we show up and we do the best we can and so this video is intended to let you know that we're the Veterans Healing Farm will be showing up this summer and we'll be doing everything we can to help as many as we can and so please stay safe um, thank you for your support and stay tuned look forward to seeing you soon Thanks, bye.